guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today I'm sitting on the floor of my living room because I'll show you how many houseplants I've accumulated lately. I have really been enjoying the whole process of learning about the soils they require, the humidity they require, and really just the range of beautiful, beautiful things available for me to keep in my house. Now this house has a few obstacles. One is that the only window that gets really great light for plants is the one that I keep my orchids in. And I've shown you guys that several times in the past. But we also have this room, our living room, which is all windows, glass doors, and has 16 foot ceilings. So we thought what we would do is get rid of this television that we never use, get rid of the TV stand, get rid of the desk, and set up a DIY wall for my plants. Now it'll be multiple shelves and it's gonna be made out of pipe. Um, I'll put a complete materials list in the description box for you. And then I will buy some supplemental LED lighting if needed. And this way I can move in my outdoor plants when it starts to get cold. I can preserve some of my really cool tropical marginals, things like that. That black taro I have and the really big um, dwarf palm that I, or dwarf papyrus that I have. And maybe even the canna lily, we'll have to see. But this will allow me to have more space in our house to manage my plants. So let's get started. So I missed a lot of the process of this thing being made simply because it was being done in spare hours. Um, and I was often running our kids around. But this is what it is so far. And it's made to fit in that area beneath our staircase so that I can utilize as many levels as possible to fit my plants. Um, and I may also move some aquariums onto it. We'll have to see yet. So this is the basic structure. Then we're going, Chris is going to weld some cross supports on each level. And then we'll fit it with some boards. And then uh, do a little bit of tweaking to make sure it's a little bit more level than it is right now. And then move it into the house and set up some plants. Chris brought home a threader and hand threaded all the pipe. And I didn't realize sort of how difficult this project was going to be. To me it sounded simple, but utilizing pipe and pipe fittings to try and get angles and stuff is pretty freaking difficult. But luckily since Chris is so talented with welding as well, he was able to uh, weld some things as well to make it a bit more sturdy for us. Now Chris then took a torch and just sort of burnt off the coating that's on the pipes. They're sort of greasy and you could do, do this in a bunch of ways, but the quickest and most uh, immediate way is to take a torch to it and just burn off that coating that also removes any of the lettering and the um, stickers. And then we just took a torch lightly to the boards as well to get bring out a little bit of the wood grain. Um, then I took some steel wool and just made sure all the greasy fingerprints were off and if there were spots that were too dark you can remove it that way um, as well and this just got any surface stuff off of the boards before we went in with tongue oil now tongue oil was chosen because it adds a barrier to prevent the moisture from saturating the boards and it just adds a slight enhancement to the wood I'm not a big fan of stain and our house has a lot of mixed woods already so I wanted this to be pretty simple and not detract from the the pipe frame then my kids Abby and Clell and their boyfriends Austin and Jaden helped us get it in the house put the boards on and start moving things around I think everyone was pretty excited um, for this project and it was really great having everyone help me um, throughout the whole thing it really was uh, especially with the installation a family affair and I am very thankful for that <laughs> Now after getting it installed, I realized that it might be nice to have some floating shelves, so we designed those as well. But one of the key things I wanted to show you guys is that my husband always thinks about things like leveling feet, um, because things are rarely perfect, and both on the floating shelves that we put in and on the corners of the stand, it's adjustable so that if we were to move this somewhere else in the future that wasn't quite square, we'd be able to adjust it then. I still have to figure out the lighting and this is where you guys come in. I would love to have some suggestions for you down in the comments as to what kind of lighting you think would work here. I want it to be pretty seamless. I don't want a ton of cords and I don't want it to detract from the overall look 
that we have going on in our house. It's very industrial chic, and I want the lighting to be super streamlined. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project, and stay tuned for the next one. So, if these need to be leveled, all you got to do is loosen the top nut and then screw the wing nut underneath. I think it's good now. Do you think it's good? I think it's crooked that way now. It's good? Dog. I think it needs to go down. I think it's crooked front to back. What? I'm sorry. It's the only way to hold. It's the only way to hold both of the things. Let me get a close up of those nails. That's good. Show me your best simply nailogical fingers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Notice the functionality of Chris's hands. I gotta be dad. Notice the functionality of Abby's hand. I gotta be dad. It's a race. Hey, you're cheating. I don't got one of those. Race! It's a race! It's a race! Get it on! Not, this is not fair because he cut it. So the, no, the, I didn't. Okay, that's good now. Oh, Daddy's winning! Daddy's winning! That's cheating. He had all the things first. Honey, the wing nut doesn't need to go too far down. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs>